In this video, we'll be covering how to set up a project in SignAgent. We're greeted by a lot of information when first opening a project. The screen is broken down into three sections. The map, the sign list, and the sidebar on the left, creatively named the left-hand sidebar. The map can be floor plans or an external map, which we'll get into. And it displays the type and location of all created signs. We can click and drag to move on it and scroll to zoom. Hovering over each sign will show a preview of how that sign will look. What is shown can be changed, but the default will prioritize artwork, followed by photos, text, and then nothing. Moving over to the left-hand sidebar, there are three kinds of information displayed. We talked about projects and states in a previous video already, so let's see how to set that up. Clicking on the wrench allows us to create a new project or a new folder into which we can drop multiple projects. If instead we right-click on one of the projects, we can create a new state within that project, import states from another one, create a folder into which we can drop multiple states, or view a budgetary and sign overview of the project. Let's select the final option, which is to edit this project, so we can explore how it's set up. Under the Details tab, we have the name, as well as different types of user who have access to the project. Members have editing privileges and require a paid access, while viewers have view-only access, but are a free account. It's important to note that permissions flow downwards. A member of an organization will have access to all of the projects in that org. A project member will have access to all the states, and a state member will have access to all the sign types that exist in that state. We can get more granular permissions in the Mandates tab by determining which locations and sign types members and viewers have access to. In the last tab, we can set a budget for the project. Sign types can then be assigned a cost that we can track against our budget for both takeoffs and bidding. Moving on to States, we'll right-click on the project and select New State. We'll call this a secondary review and give it the following description. We can choose a color for this state and have the ability to override the color of an individual sign so that each sign in this state appears the same color. Optionally, we can input a start and end date, which we saw in a previous video and will show on the homepage dashboard. In the Permissions tab, we can then assign reviewers to this state. A reminder that all viewer and reviewer level users have free access to Sign Agent so you can invite your clients to approve and reject signs directly in SignAgent. We discuss how doing so saves time, money, and what the experience is like in our review videos. We can also use this feature during install and more simply by renaming the approved and rejected fields. To save, press Enter, scroll to the bottom and click the Save button, or use Command slash Control S. Great! We have the workflow a sign will go through established. In the next video, we'll cover how to create and organize location plans. 